Look at this bitch. Got a pot on her head too. You little shit. Oh! Crows never do what they're told. I'm trying to save lives here. Don't you understand? Death cannot see those who have masked their life force within an urn. I can fool the Grim Reaper himself. Mm-hmm. Can't fool me. You and I have something in common, little crow. The same employer. But goodness, we can't have them finding out about everything you've seen. Don't worry. I'll put your ashes in a lovely urn. This is gonna be tough. I can tell. The Witch of Urns. Grandma! Oh shit. Oh. Yep. What the fuck? I do like how she gets like cracked out. So like you can kind of tell like how Oh god. Like you can kind of tell how trying I need to try even more now not to be hit but so it seems like what the fuck was that didn't mean to do that but that's cool oh one of the fucking pots hit me damn Death. She's hard. And I think part of the problem is I'm just trying to like hit her too much. Like instead of just like you know hitting her like when I can. Because you know they all have their animation. want that extra hit, but at the same time... You need to get him out of the way, too. Is she gonna do... She hasn't started the purple balls yet. I'm so bad. Like, I'm like, oh, I can get that third hit. Let's 
Obviously, she hits him right too. Oh, there's the. Now she's gonna hit the ball. Watch out for her jumping boost. Yep. Okay, can I get it? Nice. Nice. La Croix. We gather here today to mourn the passing of a woman known by many names. The Witch of Urns, the Ceramic Sorceress, Earthenware Enchantress, Crockery Crone, and of course, Grandma. Driven by her maternal instincts and consumed by her endeavors to outwit death, she filled her life with a passion for magic, reanimation, potions, and pots. <laughs> her journey is concluded, and now, she is at peace. Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. And that's a pretty good time to end. So, what do I do? I suppose I'll never be rid of this pot for a head. Still, I hope she finds peace beyond life. She can finally be reunited with Grandpa. Grandpa. Slip of the tongue. I quite literally have pots on the brain. Seriously, though. R.I.P., Gran. She died as she lived with a pot on her head. Nice. Alright, let's see what happens now. Hmm, I'm in a different spot. And the music is intense. It's a table with a key lady. The Lord of Doors, world's best lord. <laughs> well, a crow. Hello there. And how exactly did you get in here? Ah, uh, what's the point in having command over all the doors in this world if my servants never remember to lock them? So why are you here? I haven't actually met a crow in many, many years. You still have those beaks. Nice. I sense a vast amount of soul energy about you, little crow. Strange, it feels oddly familiar to me. Oh, is that why you're here? You've come seeking a reward? Look at that crow. Yeah, give me some health. Don't fist me. Why you gotta make a face like that? Very good job, little one. Bravo. Now, be a good little bird and turn them into your vault. There is no need to bring souls directly to me. I have more important matters to attend to. Ciao. Mm. Yeah. Oh, he can see that boy, huh? From his castle. Bam. What are you doing here? Did you find your assignment yet? Wait, you have a giant soul, but it's the wrong one. I can't process that. How did you manage that? Never mind. Get back out there and find your assigned soul. 